In this video, I want to go over two basic skills, which is expand, uh, sorry, two basic skills in algebra, uh, which are expanding uh, brackets and simplifying and also factorizing. Okay, so this is the first question. Uh, 3 times 2x plus 6 plus 2 times 3x minus 4. So the first thing that we do is we need to expand the brackets. So I call these loopy lines. Or this is x. This is called also distributing three, or multiplying three with two x and three with six. So you go three times two x is six x, and three times six is eighteen. Plus, again the same thing. Two times three x. It's always good to draw, show these arrows. So two times three x is six x. And 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Now the next step is something that I would like you to do because that is grouping the like terms. Now in algebra you can simplify like terms. So now this 6x and this plus 6x are like terms. This 18 which is plus 18 and minus 8 are like terms. Always identify the like terms and group it. So let's group this. So this is I'll write it here. Next step. Next line. So this is 6x plus 6x plus 18 minus 8. So now you can simplify this too and you can simplify this too. So this is 6 lots of x plus 6 lots of x which is 12 lots of x plus this is 8. 18 take away 8 is 10. Okay. So this is your final answer. There's nothing wrong in this, but you can do one step more, which is to factor out the common factor. So if you want to do one step more, this is good, but if you want to make this a bit more simplified, so this is 2 times 6x. This is 2 times 6x six, six is 12x plus 2 times 5. This is also called factor, factorization or you're factoring out the common factor. So the most simplified form is 2 bracket 6x plus 5. If uh, I would call this is a good answer so you can if you can find this answer this is good and this would be very good. Okay so let's move on to the next question. Okay you can pause the video and try to do this yourself at any stage, uh, my main purpose is that you do it yourself and then uh, play the video so that you can check whether you got, got it right or wrong. Okay, the next question is the same thing, minus x times 3 and minus x times minus x. And this is where you have to be careful. So this is minus x times 3, which is negative 3x or minus 3x. And now negative times negative is positive. Now this is where you have to be super careful. So minus x times minus x is plus x squared. Again, the same thing, 2 times x and 2 times negative 4. So this is plus 2x and minus 8. So again, the same process, group the like terms. So this and this are like terms and this. Ah, okay, so you've got only these two like terms, sorry. So you don't have... Uh, okay, so I will, so you have this and this only the like term, so this is slightly different, okay. So this is, I'll first write x squared plus uh, 2x, you could have written minus 3x first, minus 3x minus 8. So you had only, you can simplify only this two. So this is x squared, this is plus 2x, take away 3x is minus x minus 8. So this is your simplified form. Okay. Next question is to factorize. Okay. So this is, I'll start with simple. So yeah, this is, this is, I'll write, this is called the expanded form. So this is 3 times A plus A times B. So you have to look for the common factor. So this is called factorization because you're taking out the common factors. So this is A, you factor the A out, so you can write inside the bracket 3 plus B. Now this 
is called factorization. This is one of the basic skills in algebra, which is the opposite of expansion. So if you expand this bracket to check whether you got the answer right, you can do the loopy brackets like this, so loopy arrows. So a times 3 is 3a, and a times negative b is, sorry, a times plus b is plus ab. Okay, so that's how you can check. So the reverse process is expansion, and this is factorization. Okay, so here again, we're going to write this as 2 times x to the power 10. I'm going to write as x to the power 8 times x squared. You should know the power rules, okay? x, x to the power 8 times x to the power 2 is x to the power 10 minus 2 times 2 times x to the power 8. So I want you to underline the common factors. So first look at the numbers. So I can see 2 is common. And this 8, x to the power 8 is also common. So I'm going to do one more step. It's always good to do more steps. So this is 2x to the power 8 times x squared. And I'm going to write this as minus 2x to the power 8 times negative, times 2, sorry. So if you are confident, you don't need to do all these steps. You can directly see that 2x to the power 8 is common. If you can see that directly 2x to the power 8 is common, you can write x squared, which is what is not common. Can you see this and this are? This and this will come in the bracket. So this is your answer. So this is called factorization. And always go and check whether by expanding this we are getting this. So let's check that. So 2x to the power 8 times x squared is 2x to the power 10 and 2x to the power 8 times negative 2 is negative 4x to the power 8. So you can give yourself, if you got this answer, you can give yourself a star. Okay, now this is the next type of factorization where you have to put this in two brackets. So here you got x squared and I want to put this in two brackets. There are different ways of doing this. So this is one of the ways. So first look at x squared. First look at x squared. Now, to get x squared, I have, to have an x here and an x here, because x times x is x squared. We'll con confirm this uh, by expanding. Now, you have to think of two factors of 10, two factors of 10, think of two factors of 10, which adds to give you uh, 7. So, well, 2 and 5, if you multiply, so let me show you to here. So 2 times 5 is 10. And 2 plus 5 is 7. So this is what I mean. The two factors of 10 are 2 and 5. That means when you multiply 2 and 5, you get 10. And you add 2 and 5, you get 7. So this is plus 2 plus 7. Now how, do, how would you check your answer? So to check, you'll have to expand and see whether you're getting back the question. So here, let me show you how to expand and check. So this is x, this x times this whole bracket, which is x plus 7, plus 2 times x plus 7. So this is called distributing x with x plus 7 and 2 with x plus 7. Now you have to open the bracket. So x times x is x squared plus 2 times. Oh, this is, I made a mistake, so this is always good to check. Okay, can you see my mistake? I should have written 5 here. Okay, I could pick up my mistake when I checked it. So this should be 5. Okay, this is plus 2. So x times 5 is 5x. Five 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times 5 is 10. So your final answer is x squared plus 7x plus 10 which is what you started with. So your answer is right. Okay. So moving on to the next question. Okay, so same thing. The two factors of the first right start with x. 
the two factors of minus 48. Okay, so first think of two factors of 48. So let me write the two factors of 48. So well, 6 and 8 gives you 6 and 6 times 8 is minus 48. I'm sorry, not, not minus 48. I want minus and I will put a minus here and a plus here. So if you multiply this two, you get minus 48. And if you add this two, <coughs> you get minus two. So the two factors are x plus six times x minus eight. I would like you to expand this and check whether you're getting the answer, whether my answer is right or wrong. Okay. Okay, and the next question is three x squared plus three x plus six. So yeah, this is slightly different, not very different. The first thing I can see three, three and sixty. Okay, so something should strike. So this is three times x squared plus three times x, three times x minus three times twenty. So I'm taking three common. Okay, so this is if you take the three out, the minus would remain here. This is x squared plus x minus twenty. So, 3 times x squared plus x minus 20. Now, this has become a simple quadratic equation. So, the same process. You want to find the two factors of 20 or minus 20. The two factors of minus 20, which adds to give you plus 1. So, this is an invisible 1 here. So, well, that has to be 5 times negative 4. Why? Because 5 times negative 4 is negative 20 and 5 plus negative 4 is plus 1. Okay, it's always good to do this process if you are not sure. So the factors would be 3 times x plus 5 times x minus 1. Okay, that's all. And this is your final answer. And it's a good, pra good practice to expand this and check whether you're getting this answer. Okay, now this is a tricky question. Here you got 5x squared. Okay, so let me use a different color. So here, again, you have to have two brackets because it's a quadratic equation. Quadratic stands for the second power. So now you have to have 5x and x. Think about it, why should I, why should we have 5x and x? Because 5x times x will only give you 5x squared. That's why we have to have 5x and x. Or we can have x and 5x, doesn't matter in any order. Okay, now you have to think about this minus 2. Now minus 2, you can write, how can you get minus 2? You can get minus 2 by minus 2 times plus 1. Or you can also get by 1 times minus 2. Both are possible. Now you have to be a bit uh, thoughtful before you put the numbers here. So the numbers that come here should give you minus 2. So let me put, say, plus 1 here, plus 1 minus 2. And now check whether this would work. This is how I would check. I'll do this loopy bracket, sorry, loopy arrows like this. So this is your 1 times x is x. And this is 5 times minus, 5 times minus 2 is minus 10x. And can you see? This is 1 times negative 2 is negative, 1 times minus 2 is minus 2. 1 times, this is 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. And this is plus 1x and this is minus 10x. And I hope you can see minus 10x plus 1x does give you minus 9x. And that's what we wanted. So this is your final answer. Hooray. Okay. Uh, and suppose these are last two questions. Oh, a few more questions are there. So let's do this question. This is quite easy. So I'm going to write this as negative x times x and this is minus negative x times 12 
Okay. So here it's a bit tricky. You are factoring out this negative x. So you have to be careful here. So this is negative x, so I'm going to put a plus here. Okay, oops. I don't want a plus. So this is this is minus. Okay. So here I'm going to write the next step like this. This is negative x times x plus, I'll put a plus here, plus negative x times 12. This is a bit tricky step. I want to uh, give this negative sign with this x. So this is plus, plus negative x is same as minus. So I'm going to factor this negative x out. If you factor this negative x out, you'll have x plus 12. Now this is difficult for some of you. Now if you want to understand this backwards, it's always good to expand it. So let's do the loopy arrows. So minus x times x is minus x squared and minus x times plus 12 is minus 12x. So this is what we started with. So your answer is right. Okay, now this is called uh, difference of two squares. So this is, this is, I'll write this like this. This is a squared, sorry, this is two squared minus three a the whole squared. So there's a formula, good to remember. The formula is like this, the formula. This is a very good formula to remember. It's very useful, which is a squared minus b squared is a minus b times a plus b. Very simple formula to remember. If you expand this, you've got a times a is a squared. Okay, and minus b times b is minus b squared. But, so let me explain this formula. So if you expand this, so let's expand this. So this is a times a plus b minus b times a plus b. So this is a squared plus ab. This is minus b times a is also ab minus ab. And minus b times plus b is minus b squared. So this and this gets cancelled. So this is nothing but a squared minus b squared. So now you compare your a. This is your a. Compare this with a and this with b. This whole thing as b. So your final answer. I'll write with a different color, would be 2 minus 3a. For a minus b, I can write 2 minus 3a and 2 plus 3a, just like that. And this is your final answer. And the last two questions, I'll leave it for you to do. Uh, okay, so let's do this, as we have done this much. So let's not, uh, you can stop and do it this it's a quite easy question, so this is, I'll do it this directly three times, x minus 5. Here, I'll start with 2x. So 3 you can get in only one way, 3 is 1 times 3. So I'm going to write plus 1, plus 3. Now to just check your answer, always do this loopy arrows. So this is plus 1x. This is x, and this is your 6x. Six, six. And I hope you can see 6x six, six and x gives you 7x. x, 1 and 3 gives you 3, and 2x and x gives you 2x squared.